Dear brothers and sisters in Jesus the Lord, it's a great day today because it is the feast of the apostle of Jesus, person who lived with Jesus, person who had ups and downs while he was with Jesus person who witnessed transfiguration, person who was there at the Gethsemane, person who was there at the Last Supper, person who was there during the ministry of Christ and knowing all that Jesus himself went through. Dear brothers and sisters, St. James, the apostle, is the brother of John. And we know that John is the beloved disciple of Jesus. There has been a closeness with Jesus, with these two brothers, and this is seen finally when their mother wants one to be at his left and the other one to be at his right in his kingdom. Did she understand what his kingdom meant to be? Probably not. The kingdom that she looked at was the kingdom in this world. Therefore we see in 2 Corinthians chapter 4 verses 15 and ahead. St. Paul says, We are earthenware. We have a very delicate structure, but we are holding the most precious jewel in us. We just hold this precious jewel and it is all happening because we love the person of Jesus Christ. We are persecuted, we are troubled, but we are not people who are deserted. St. Paul speaks to the people the actual thing what happens to him. And we see in what Jesus is trying to tell the mother of James and John and also to these two disciples. You want to sit at the left and right? Are you ready to drink the cup of suffering which I am going to drink? And they willingly say yes. Of course, James was the first among the apostles to be martyred for Christ. King Herod Agrippa I brutalized him in order to please the Jewish people. My dear brothers and sisters, dying for Christ is the most primary thing in our lives to be a Christian. And we see in the life of the disciples, the lovers of Christ, and people who have built up total affinity and commitment to him. James, being the apostle, who was ready to drink the cup, is told that the one to be at my left and right is decided by my father and not me. So we are to do the will of God in order to enter into the kingdom of heaven. All the places are decided by the Father to whom lies which place. Dear brothers and sisters, at this time let us reflect on our lives and see how well we are living as Christians, living a life of witness living a life of commitment and dedication to Christ who lives in us 
Amen.